it's me again and I I've been exploring some very cool features of Scratch yes we've been looking at this uh, uh, very great tool together uh, we said Scratch is a visual programming language that helps us teach coding to children and really anybody can learn coding using Scratch it, it has very colorful blocks that help us um, um, create visually attractive programs okay that that have that behave very similar to real life programming languages okay so if a child can really get a hold of um, um, the, the the coding principles that scratch uh, uh, has to offer then that child would have a very uh, bright future when it comes to um, uh, 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 taking up a career or taking up um, yeah taking up a career in IT or in the computing space and anything that has to do with technology really and apart from that the skills coding uh, uh, induce the child with is I mean there, there are too numerous to mention all right uh, I, I said it and you can quote me anyway coding uh, has uh, gives the child the same edge that uh, mathematical uh, logic and reasoning um, give the child the same advantage okay and well coding and mathematics aren't really that far apart uh, in fact I think um, a programmer who really is good with their mathematics would do better um, we do better on projects yes and would be faster in implementing algorithms and stuff um, than one who doesn't really uh, flow with maths okay now um, in the last video we we created uh, this beautiful set of blocks we um, replaced um, um, the, uh, the move 50 steps and the turn 120 degrees block uh, remember we had three sets of these so we said um, scratch provides us with a repeat block that could help us make our program shorter um, when we take advantage of patterns which are really nothing more than blocks of our code that are exactly the same they just repeat okay now that makes our programs short that makes our program shorter and more uh, effective uh, when it comes to um, using taking advantage of patterns okay now in this video I want us to explore um, uh, further this uh, uh, set of blocks okay now I'm going to ask you what you think we would need to do if we needed to create a square okay if we needed to create a square now um, I, I'm going to leave this set of blocks here um, however what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to create another I'm going to add another sprite now in scratch uh, you can see here this is the very first version of scratch but there's some very cool features in it okay so you can add a new sprite you could create yours paint a new one or load a new one from a file and um, you might want to get the surprise one okay right now we don't want surprises so let's just get one from the existing ones okay so for now I'm just going to choose uh, the animals we have different categories uh, let's just choose the animal one okay and it opens it up so I could see more animals okay and I'm going to choose the okay let's go with the bat okay and it adds it nicely beside uh, the cat uh, sprite which for now is called sprite one all right now remember 
for this um, uh, project we don't really need um, to see the sprites what we need is we need to be able to write our code right here beside um, um, our code right here where where the sprites um, uh, offers us in the script section okay remember if I didn't have this sprite I wouldn't have where to put these blocks okay so um, the sprites this second sprite I just added now uh, would really be necessary even though the bat is looking really scary like you know kind of to be interesting to have our, our cat and <laughs> the bat <laughs> show up in a kind of um, fight I don't know maybe the cat running away from the bat how about that bat chase cat game okay maybe we'll look at that soon <laughs> All right, but for this one, we'll simply be creating a square in place of um, the bat sprite. Okay, now we have our square, uh, the the code we already had for the um, um, the triangle. All right, now you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on the first block, and now watch. Sorry, I think I hit the help button error I'm going to click on the first block and drag it see that I'm going to drag it where do you think I'm going to drag it to I'm going to drag it till the small box appears over the bat sprite and I'm going to like drop it it goes back here but guess what's happened when we click on the bat sprite we see the same code showing up right there now Let's quickly change the coordinates before um, it it's, it's overwrites our triangle exactly where it is. Now remember, the first one does the hiding, okay? The next one should tell the pen where to go to before drawing, alright? So let's go to our stage and look at where do we think it's going to be a cool place. Okay, I think I like this area. Uh, this is, what area is this? okay so let's say um minus 219 160 okay now let's let's take it this way minus 229 164 minus 200 229 and 100 and 64 okay we hit enter and uh, just for the sake of our exercise we're gonna change the color this time to red okay so let's see how it looks and uh, we click go all right now if you noticed we have another triangle right here but we need a square so what else goes what else do you think needs to change uh, let's see we need to change this to 4 alright and what next needs to change yes you guessed it right because we have 4 sides now our angle can't remain 120 120 was for 3 sides and you remember our formula our formula said for the exterior angle for a triangle for any shape we need to calculate 360 divided by the number of sides and in this case our square has four sides so if we divide 360 by 4 what do we get we get 90 correct now let's take a look at our code one more time and when we click on the green flag yay now what did you see can you see the square sh the triangle showing up all right so what do you think we need to do to get rid of the triangle i think we'll need to do a clear somewhere all right so i'm going to quickly put my clear in there and hit it again yay so in the next videos we explore this some more